The imagination is an extraordinarily powerful tool. So today I want to teach you about a really awesome way of dealing with anxiety, and it's called the safe space, developing a safe space. And so the goal is to, within your mind, using imagination on all five senses, on the level of all five senses, create a space that you can close your eyes and really settle into that helps you relax. And so every, for everyone, it's going to be different. For some people, the beach is a very relaxing environment. For some people, it's a forest. For some people, it's a field full of wildflowers. Um, and for other people, it's a space within their imagination or their memory. For example, um, their grandparents' home they used to visit when they were a child, right? Or something that doesn't exist and you just create it. But the goal is to spend some time when you're not in the midst of anxiety or panic to really just close your eyes and develop this space in your mind. So for the sake of example, let's talk about developing a beach scene in your mind if that's relaxing, okay? But you can use this, the same way that you're going to watch me develop it, you're going to do for any space. So for the beach scene, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to imagine the scene visually, okay? So there's the water there, there's the sand. Maybe in this image you're sitting on a beach chair and there's an umbrella over you. Um, maybe there's a few palm trees around you. Um, maybe there are some seashells on the ground. So you're kind of really trying to fill out the visual details. Next, we're going to take in sounds. What sounds do you hear? There's the sounds of the waves lapping onto the shore. There's the sound of the breeze blowing through um, the palm trees. Okay, and whatever other sounds you want to associate. Then you're going to take in the, the smell. So whatever that smell of the ocean water is, you're going to try to develop that and really imagine it. What taste? Often when we're at the beach, there's that salty taste that ends up on your tongue or whatever taste is involved, okay? And then there's the tactile, right? The physical. What, what are you feeling? It could be the feel of the breeze on your face. Is it a cool breeze? Is it a warm breeze? It could be the feeling of the beach chair under you or if you're imagining yourself sitting on the sand, it's the feel of the hot sand and whatever that feels like on your hands, right? So when you're closing your eyes, you're really building something. And the cool thing is, is that you're gonna spend time building the space in your mind. And then as you develop it, and each time you visit it, and think of all those pieces, you're strengthening it. And then in a time of panic or anxiety and stress, you will be able to visit it. And the more you practice going there, when you're not stressed out or just on a lower level of anxiety, the more likely it will be on a higher level of anxiety, you'll be able to access it. So if you haven't done so, I highly recommend taking some time and building this in your mind, whatever that location is. Like I said, for some people, it's it's some kind of nature environment. And for other people, it's a place that they've been or whatever it is, something that you associate with relaxation and feeling calm and feeling good and safe. Have you ever done this? Um, and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to help in any way I can.